And we're live. It's Chris from Lifter LMS. I'm here with Will Middleton and Kurt Von Annen from Lifter LMS. How's everybody doing out there today? We're coming at you through StreamYard, which is actually a little bit new to us. So if you could do us a favor, whether you're watching this on Facebook, YouTube, um, LinkedIn, or Twitter, wherever you're, you're uh, watching this, go ahead and click the like button or, the, or drop a comment just so we know the audio and the videos coming through just drop a comment down below and let us know where you're calling in from we've got some people a lot of people live with us here as well welcome everybody who's live go ahead and light up the comments here in Streamyard. let us know where you're calling in from where you're watching in from um, uh, thanks Christopher for the confirmation there appreciate that I'm in Maine I'm just putting that in the chat that's where I'm at um, Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Well, uh, we're going to get into uh, some demo. We've got Atlanta in the house. We've we got some presentation that we're going to do. Uh, this is also going to be an interactive session. So if you have any question at all at any point, um, just go ahead and drop your questions in. Uh, if it's really quick while we're in the middle of what we're doing, we will um, just answer it. Uh, otherwise, we might save it to the end for an extended Q&A at the end. So welcome everybody to the call. Um, we've got Chechia in the house, Scotland. Uh, we got people from all over the place in here. So welcome everybody. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. So I'm gonna share my screen with you. And then if you could, just let me know in the chat if you can see it or will just give me an audio confirmation because I can't see the chat right now. You're good. Awesome. And if if uh, Will or Kurt, if you guys see a, a question you want me to handle real quick while we while I'm in the um, presentation here, go ahead and uh, just jump in. But this presentation is all about how to build a learning management system website with WordPress, how to do it in the modern times in 2023 using the best tools. Um, so if you have whatever's on your mind that made you decide to, you know, sign up or you're checking this out on social media, ask a question like, why, why are you here? Like, what, what do you want to get out of this presentation? Uh, what, what question is burning on your mind before we even start here? What challenge are you facing so that we can help you with that today? Um, so I'm gonna go over some trends, some use cases, uh, and some technology. And uh, Will, if you could kill the kill the, the music in the background uh, when you have a sec. Um, I'm Chris Badgett, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Lifter LMS, which has been around since 2014. So we're getting close to a decade. And Lifter's known as the best, most powerful, most customizable, secure learning management system for WordPress. We've got a special deal for you today that you can actually save 15% with coupon code WEBINAR15. So if you're looking to get Lefter LMS at a great deal, at a great price, use the coupon code WEBINAR15. I am going to remind you of this um, at the end. So, so um, don't feel like you have to do anything with that right now unless you're ready to just go buy Lifter right away, but I will remind you of this code um, in a little bit. So there's a couple different types of people that we help uh, at Lifter. We, we help um, what I call builders. These are the WordPress professionals that build the websites for the expert industry, for the schools, for the businesses, for really anybody who is wanting to do an e-learning platform online. Um, some people do it themselves, but some people hire builders, you know, web developers, agencies, freelancers to set up the site for them and, and potentially do other things like marketing and other things. The other group of people that we help are the, the DIY professionals, the do-it-yourself people. I call them starters. They're just roll up their sleeves. They check out our documentation, our video tutorials. And they just kind of get started and, and build the site for themselves uh, and create the online learning platform uh, on their own. And then we have a lot of people who I call switchers, 
who are switching from, um, you know, kind of a poorly designed WordPress stack, kind of cobbling together too many different tools, or they're switching off of a hosted solution um, that they're just not happy with, like a Kajabi or a Teachable or a Thinkific or a Udemy. We see a lot of people kind of switching over to WordPress and they're looking for the best tools. And that's where, um, that's it. That's another, you know, group of people that we get. So I'm going to pass it over um, to you, Will, on uh, if you just want to kind of go over some of the other types of users. And, uh, and we'll, just to give you a little more color around the types of people we're talking about that use Lyft or LMS. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So is my audio coming through? Yeah, we're, you're good. You're, Perfect. Yeah. Well, what we're taking a look at here, folks, is the Lifter LMS case studies page where we have a few of our Lifter LMS users who've had massive success with the platform. We just like to highlight them and share their story to help other users with finding, you know, a solution that would work for them, finding someone who's worked out in a similar industry and found success that'll help motivate and, and teach you which uh, way you might want to go with your LMS platform. And I think the first one on the list here that I wanted to highlight real quick is KPC. I think she's a little bit further down here on the page. There she is. Yeah. KPC, she has an active campaign course. I think it's slickbusiness.io. I think, is that right, Chris? Slick yeah. Business. yeah. Yeah, that's Kay's website. And active campaign, for anyone who doesn't know, is a CRM tool, customer relationship management or email list tool. Um, and that is a really interesting way to send emails, manage all your contacts. It's similar to MailChimp, ConvertKit, Infusionsoft. There's a lot of tools like that in the space, but Kay goes really deep on this one tool, Active Campaign, teaching people how they can leverage that to build their businesses, manage their contacts, manage customer success. Really, Active Campaign is super powerful, and she highlights how you can integrate it with WordPress, Lifter, WooCommerce, and all kinds of other tools. So her course is specifically how to integrate a software tool with other software tools in the ecosystem to build a successful business. So she's got an awesome product there. And then another one we have on the page is a different type of business, which is a physical business, Michael Wiley. I think he's a little bit further down on the page too. He's got like a pink uh, background. There's Kurt too. We just scrolled by. <laughs> but uh, I, you know, I think Michael's a little, there he is, Michael Wiley, that pink background. Um, if you scroll down a little bit more, um, he's got that. Oh, yeah. It really pops. I like that picture. Um, I got to make something like that. But he teaches people how to, I think, like refurbish. I think it's mostly a trailer. Uh, mobile homes. Mobile yeah. homes. Yeah. Mobile homes and flip them, which is awesome because that's an in-person business where people are trying to make money in the real estate market. And so he teaches people how they can get into this market, how they can purchase these mobile homes and how they can refurbish and flip them. So he talks about that full tech process. And as you can see, he does a lot of stuff on YouTube, a lot of content promotion, content marketing on YouTube. And so this is an example of an in-person business using Lifter LMS to leverage the power of the internet to get other people across the world involved in the similar style of business. And then the last case study that I wanted to highlight today was Sally Crew. I think she's a little bit further down as well. There she is with the geode, um, a little bit up there. She's got that, I, I don't know if that's a geode, but that's an awesome looking, Crystal Rock, she runs a WAS service where she actually provides websites for other people. So if you're a freelancer or agency and you want to provide websites for others who are looking to take their online course vision and put it online, check out the Sally Crew case study. She's got a lot of um, success with creating this product offering as somebody who provides services to others in the Lifter LMS software space. And so that's a few different case studies where we're talking about KPC teaching people how to use software, Michael Wiley teaching people how to use in-person physical business and run their in-person physical business, and then Sally who provides a service for others using the Lifter LMS tool and other tools in the space as well. Yeah, there's all kinds of other great case studies on this page. I just wanted to highlight a few that are in a couple of different business segments. But there are some other great stories on this page. And you might be on this page one day. If you sign up with Lifter LMS, create an online course, and have a bunch of success, we will want to interview you on our podcast and put you, feature you on the page as well. So a lot of great stories on there. Be sure to check them out and see if you can find one that fits 
what you're looking to create. Awesome. Right on. I, I especially like Michael Wiley. I think the guy's a super interactive kind of guy to talk to. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, he is great. And, um, you know, it's really cool to see all the different places and the ways people use WordPress and Lifter LMS to build a, you know, an expert business, a coaching business to do internal training in a company or use it in a more formal education setting. It's super customizable and flexible and able to be used in a lot of different ways. I want to highlight on some trends real quick that are going on in the e-learning industry that can help benefit you if you're creating LMS sites for clients or um, doing it for yourself. So online education is, it's not actually new, but it is 100% gone mainstream, especially in the past three years. You've probably seen things like masterclass where you can learn, um, you know, comedy from somebody like Steve Martin or learn how to cook from Martha Stewart. Pretty much everybody, almost everybody has taken an online course and more and more people are, are creating them. And as, as we, you know, the, the uh, creator economy continues to grow and expand and people look for multiple streams of income. O online education is just going to continue to boom and go even further mainstream. It's also projected to be a $300 billion industry by 2025. And this statistic um, is a little bit outdated. It's That number has probably actually gone up. I know it has gone up from the, the research group that... Um, uh, I got this original statistic from just with uh, the past several years, there's been more e-learning adoption that's happened. So, you know, if you're looking to build a business, making money, teaching online or helping others do that, if you're an agency or whatever, it's, this is a great trend that you can be a part of. And as we've had the global pandemic system it also or disruption over the past several years, this has kind of accelerated a lot of the e-learning adoption and, you know, people getting into e-learning, more people getting into creating e-learning, people uh, working from home and all this, this is further accelerated the opportunity and online education. The other thing that's continues to happen, which sometimes we don't always realize if we live in a developed part of the world, uh, but even still in, in um, developed parts of the world with the, rise of 5g and internet connectivity there's still a ton of people that are just now getting online and also p people that maybe they've been online but they're just now starting to get fast enough internet uh, to be able to handle video and other things that are popular inside e-learning websites so just that connectivity and the high speed internet access is another trend that further compounds the opportunity in online education um, and then the other big one is tool accessibility. Uh, you know, the iPhones we have, the laptops we have, the Android devices, it's never been easier to become a content creator with the tools you're likely already carrying in your pocket or, uh, you know, machines, computers that you already use for work or personal entertainment. Uh, these are the, the ability to access everything you need to create online courses and coaching and online schools and things like that. We've all pretty much got the tools and, and can start with basic or go into more professional levels if we want to, but we, we, it's never been easier to be a creator. I want to jump into a couple of use cases, how to think about online learning. This world has a lot of terms that people kind of intermix or sometimes um, get confused, uh, like what's the difference between an LMS, a course, a membership, a course marketplace, all these different things. So I just kind of want to lay out the main use cases of a learning management system. Uh, and you can, of course, deploy this with a tool like WordPress and Lifter LMS. The first is an online course. This is kind of the classic, okay, I'm going to create one information product. It's going to be a course. Uh, usually it has less than videos, though not always. Sometimes text, supporting documents, other content on the screen, progress tracking and all that. So that's like kind of the fun. I think of the course sort of as the fundamental building block of what goes in LMS, but you can add a lot of other things too, which we'll get into in this presentation. Um, 
The next one is a training-based membership site. So this is a site by one of our customers, Melissa Love, um, and she has a lot of courses in her membership site, but she also does coaching. She has guest experts come and speak. She has a calendar of events. She has special um, PDFs and other digital downloads for her people. She's negotiated certain discounts or perks that her customers, her customers are, are web design, um, designer type people. So she's got uh, basically a bunch of things inside of her membership site, her training based membership site powered by Lifter LMS to support her niche audience. And then the next one is a course marketplace. So this is where you have uh, lots of courses potentially with multiple instructors. So the largest Word, WordPress education site in the world, WP101, is powered by Lifter LMS. It's a great platform. Uh, it's a great place to learn WordPress and the po popular tools in the ecosystem. But uh, that's powered by Lifter LMS. And in this case, you know, different instructors, you know, teach the different courses. And I'm going to hand it over to you, Kurt, for a little more on, on WP101. Yeah, no worries, man. Um, WP101. Uh, go ahead and share your screen again. I accidentally bumped you off. Oh, that's all right. That's all there right. So uh, WP101 is interesting for, for me to cover because I actually refer a lot of clients to it because, you know, working as an agency, when you have a lot of people that are coming that are new, you know, you don't have the time to educate everybody from scratch on what you're talking about, your terminology or how things work. So it's a really great source for me to refer people to. And then to think that it's a Lifter LMS product as well is just a really cool, you know, it's like a third party edification thing, right? It's like, well, look what they're doing. Like, that's the hope. I think it's a really great display of um, design messaging and it adds a lot of value. So Chris had mentioned earlier that it had a lot of features and a lot of education points and it was like a, a, a marketplace. So here's the homepage that kind of covers a lot of the big elements for you to draw you in. It gives you multiple calls to action to start learning now like a good design site should. But if you take a look at the tutorials, you can start to see that there is a lot of options in here for learning and how things are set up. So if you look at the presentation, they broke out a really good, what we would typically call a sales page or an intro page. And uh, just take a look at it. The way it's laid out is just about perfect, right? You've got your featured image, you've got the title, you've got a short description, and then a call to action to view the course detail. When you go into the course detail, this is kind of like the magic of Lifter LMS at work here. You're going to see the sidebars to the, to the side that are going to show, you know, what we call a super sidebar. This is going to be course information, course outline. This is your syllabus or your outline on how things work. Uh, talks about getting started, talks about creating content, talks about customizing your site. And as someone were to sign into this, you can see that whoever designed this course had the ability to break their big subject into little subjects and kind of give it a linear feel. And that's kind of what course development's all about. So if you're an aspiring course creator, this is a wonderful example to look at, to go, how do I want to take my big idea and break it into smaller ideas? If we want to take their call to action, enroll and start learning today, you'll see that it's going to ask us to sign up. And this is how we encourage people to build their lists, whether they're selling content or giving content away. This is a great way to build list and add value to your project because you're collecting the information from folks that are in the site. And this is a really great example of how this would happen. All right. Um, you can take a look at Chris was saying from the marketplace perspective you'll see that there are tons of courses in here that you can get into and look at the different. So create custom forms with WP forms, become a better blogger by Chris Lemma. And you'll see some other faces or names in here that are WP Rocket, WooCommerce, Beaver Builder, Ninja Forms. There are specialty courses in here all throughout. Um, so it's a really great way to put voices of many into one platform and add value to lots and lots and lots of people using the Lifter LMS core content. I think that kind of wraps it up for me. Chris, do you have anything to add on this before I close this page? I just want to say it's a great site. Go check out WP101.com. And, and a pro tip for you out there, um, 
you can actually license their WordPress course. So if you want to put a super high quality WordPress 101 course on your website made by somebody else that's really the, the industry standard, you can actually license the WordPress 101 course from WP 101 and put it on your site. So highly recommend that if you happen to be teaching WordPress from your LMS site. This, so, is, this is like a, kind of funny. We talked about masterclass where you can learn like how to cook from Martha Stewart. This is kind of like masterclass for WordPress where you have like Chris Lemma, David Foy, like the people, these people who are giants in the WordPress industry teaching you WordPress. So that's an awesome platform. Yeah. So just to recap real quick, we touched on a, an online course, a training-based membership site, and a course marketplace. The other thing we can do is use courses for education-based marketing and onboarding. So we're not necessarily trying to make money with our courses, but we're trying to teach people, like kind of do a form of content marketing and get leads. You know, when people register for a free course, it's kind of like a modern lead magnet, if you're familiar with that in marketing. But it can also, you can use courses to help um, your customers with something else that you sell or something else that you do better understand your products and services or be successful with your organization. So that's the other kind of where courses aren't necessarily the main event. They're, they're supplementing whatever the business or the organization is all about. Internal training is another one where... Uh, you know, a business uses the LMS to train its employees. So we actually use Lifter LMS at Lifter at, at our company to, to create playbooks and standard operating procedures and training so that when team members come in, we have a whole website that's protected from the public internet that we use Lifter LMS to train our team and also just kind of have an internal website for the company. So that's the other use case. Um, and then the, the final one that we're going to mention today is remote schools. So this is where traditional education and also um, non-traditional education, like not necessarily K through 12 or university, but there's all kinds of niche schools out there that provide, um, you know, remote learning opportunities, either in a blended environment where they do in person and online or fully remote where they, the whole school is completely online. Um, so there's, there's, um, all the way from big universities to like niche, niche schools about, um, you know, certain types of art or music. I've, I've seen it all. <laughs> so there's so many niches in education, uh, but remote schools are another big use case. Um, so in this LMS industry, there's a couple of problems that really persist and, these are what Lifter LMS and WordPress solves. One is the software Frankenstein where you're using too many tools made by too many different people that weren't necessarily designed to work together to, and you kind of end up in this hot mess of expensive software that's kind of buggy and doesn't work. The other problem that some course creators get into is not being fully monetized. We see this problem particularly strong on YouTube where people are creating all this valuable content, but not really monetizing. And maybe they, they mention a Patreon or something like that, but you could actually do way better with using a LMS like Lifter LMS to monetize a YouTube channel and also find ways to expand uh, for more revenue. And then uh, the other big problem is content theft uh, where your, your content is not really secure. So if you spend all this time building this proprietary content and then it's not secure, um, you know, people can steal it and redistribute it. Low engagement is another big problem in our industry where people build online courses or membership sites that their, their community doesn't really um, stay engaged with, especially after first getting started. So that's a big problem. And then the, the other one is a lack of flexibility or, or just being kind of trapped by the tools that you're using. That's a, that's a problem that persists in the space and, and not being flexible or customizable enough. So here's my promise to you today is I want to show you how with WordPress and Lifter LMS, you can unlock your creative freedom. You can sell and maximize revenue and you can protect your content you can engage your learners and you can connect to the tools you're already using or, or anything else. 
And there's three big ideas I want you to hold in your mind as we go through the rest of our presentation here today. One is the idea of having an all-in-one solution instead of having too many kind of point solutions for all these pieces that you have in your mind for your e-learning platform. Um, the idea of not just creating information products, but really helping your learners get results as well as information and connecting with anything. Um, you want an all-in-one solution, but you also want to integrate with the tools you're already using. Now, the key benefits, the top benefits of WordPress and Lifter LMS is it allows you to create, sell, engage, protect your content, and connect to all the tools you'd ever need to because it's an open solution instead of a closed walled garden environment like a lot of expensive hosted platforms that are overpriced and inflexible. So in terms of creation, uh, one of the biggest innovations with Lifter is the ability to create an online course from one screen. And I'm gonna hand it over to you, Will, to like, let's actually kind of dig into this feature a little bit here. Cool, cool. Yeah, so the course builder, like what you see on screen here, Kurt's pulling it up. This is what it looks like to build a course outline inside of Lifter LMS structuring your lessons inside of these sections. Uh, when Kurt was doing a demo earlier, you saw there was that sidebar that showed, you know, section title lesson. And this is where as the course creator, you'd be building it inside of Lifter LMS. So each course page has a page where you set your description for the course, the time that the course would take, sales content, all that kind of thing. And this is where you build the meat and potatoes of the course, where we can add uh, titles to our lessons, create the lesson hierarchy, and then there's also lesson settings on each of our lessons. If uh, you click that little box there, see there's a pop out on the right hand side with all kinds of settings pertaining to this lesson specifically. We can make it a free lesson. We can set video completion requirements. Like there's so many options inside of this Lifter LMS panel for how we want our learners to interact with content. So this is a really awesome uh, interface. We can set like prerequisites on lessons where you require lesson one be completed before moving to lesson two and lesson two be required before moving to lesson three and so all kinds of ways that you can create this learning journey inside of lifter lms alongside quizzes all the way at the the top there we have um a quiz feature as well where you can create it looks like this lesson already has a quiz on it which is awesome um you can create questions with multiple choice, picture choice, true, false. And that's just in Lifter LMS out of the box, the multiple choice, true, false um, question types. And then there's also advanced questions you see on screen now with fill in the blank, long answer, short answer. So really a lot of types of courses that you can think of creating where you want students to give various input in long answer, short answer, multiple choice. You can put a lot together inside of the Lifter LMS system, a lot of different structures. I've seen so many different ideas for courses, different interpretations. I know we had somebody say, can I create a jukebox with Lifter LMS? And the answer is yes. Uh, you could do the same sort of hierarchy using these section names as categories. Lessons were like individual songs. And so there's just so many creative ways you can approach this Lifter LMS course builder with just all kinds of interesting functionality. It's really about thinking about the vision of what you want to create and then looking at the tools or talking to us on the webinar, putting questions in the chat about, can I create this with Lifter? And really we can help connect you to how you can turn your vision into reality when it comes to any kind of site like course or membership with a paywall. Um, a lot of tools at your disposal for creating learning content on the internet with Lifter. Awesome. Well, thanks for that, Will. So we've just touched on the course builder. And then the other things that you can create are really any kind of training or business model that you can think of, like Will mentioned the, the jukebox. Lifter is also a fully featured membership solution. So, uh, you know, you can put courses in there, you can put other content on your site outside of the LMS is protected. Um, you could have a calendar of events that only, um, you know, the, the members can see. 
if they're active in your subscription or whatever, any kind of business model, any kind of training model is possible with WordPress and Lifter LMS. You can also create a unique brand. So unlike a hosted platform where all the sites look cookie cutter and the same, you know, there's literally thousands and thousands and thousands of sites powered by Lifter LMS and they, can, they all look pretty different. And that's the beauty of WordPress is you can really build a unique brand and design. It's an open system. It's not cookie cutter. And there's so many ways with no code solutions to make the brand that you envision in your mind. The other thing Lifter offers is compliance flexibility. So if you have things people need to agree to um, as they enroll and things like that, you can um, you know, require people to have agreed to certain things. And then you can really do enrollment your way. You can do any business model you can think of to um, you know, do a one-time price, recurring price subscriptions, free trials, paid trials, um, you know, any amount of money over any term for any, um, you know, any kind of access rules that you want to put on the course. It's all possible with the Lifter LMS access plan system. And I'm going to hand that over to Kurt to let's let's look at that and dive into it a little bit. Fantastic. Um, and we had a question from Judy about touching on the possibility of course and membership combinations. So this description will kind of cover that just a little bit. And then maybe we can go in that a little bit deeper for you, Judy. But access plans are like the key to how we give people access to our content and control or restrict access to the content. So Will's got the screen open for me right there. And you can see what we're looking at is an access plan. So if we want to add a new access plan, uh, we can go ahead and put in the plan title. So we got a one-time payment that we're going to do today. We can change the text on the enrollment button if we want. We can say, you know, join the team, or we can say join now, or we can say, let's get it popping. Right. We can choose if we want to have it visible. Like, do we want this action plan visible or do we want to hide the action, uh, the access plan? Now, a hidden access plan isn't really uh, intuitive, right? It's counterintuitive. But think about if you had a special discount or a special group that you wanted to give a special offer to. Well, then you would give them uh, a link to that and it would be a hidden access plan from the forward facing site. Once he saves that action plan, we've got it saved right there and it'll give us that purchase link. And then we can put that purchase link in emails or we can link directly to that purchase link from sales pages. But we'll also see that action plan come up on our course page as long as we make the visibility uh, visible instead of hidden. And so if he resaves that as visible, you'll see that come up to the top of the page inside of our course page. Now in courses, you could have an a la carte course availability. So you can sell access plans and these access plans are super flexible. Um, frequency was what uh, Will was just on there for a moment. And that is, do you want to do a one-time payment? Do you want to do recurring payments? Do you want to do monthly? Do you want to do annual? You know, you could set it up for uh, every quarter. You could say, give me a payment every three months, you know, forever until you die. I mean, you, you could set it up any way that you want. And we can also offer trial offers. So you could say, hey, it's going to be free for 14 days and then it's going to charge, you know, $100 every third month or something like that. Um, so you've got that. Now, once you set up an action plan for a course, you're selling that course. But Judy's question kind of alluded to the idea of a course over membership. And so our membership tools will say, OK, if I've got 10 courses, right, but I want to give someone a membership that includes access to all 10 courses, then I can add a membership. And in that membership, go down to access plans for membership. We can add the access plan. And if they buy that membership, we can auto enroll people into those courses as a group all at once. And so that's one way that we can say, hey, you can group courses together for different memberships. So if you've got like, say you have tech courses and you have communication courses, you could split and say, join our tech membership. And then people get auto enrolled into just the tech courses and then communication membership for just people that are in a communication membership. There's all kinds of ways. It's totally flexible and it's completely up to you. 
The other thing about membership tools is, and we'll get into this probably much, much later, or maybe in another uh, webinar, but you can restrict content anywhere in your website using the membership tools. So you can say, hey, if you're part of the tech membership, you get access to the tech blog posts. You can actually restrict your content throughout the website based on that membership access level. And like I said, that's that's a deeper subject, and we might cover that at another time, even though Will's giving you a sneak peek of it right here. But access plans are phenomenal. It's a great way to manage the site, manage the finances within your site, and manage the access to the different levels of content that you have. Hey, thanks, Judy. Awesome. And uh, if you, if, I just want to hear from you folks that are, are with us right now. Let us know down below wherever you're watching, what your biggest takeaway is or what you're most excited about, go ahead and just let us know uh, in the chat or in the comment. Um, but I wanted to, oops, I got the wrong thing up. Let me, let me switch that. So there we go. So we were talking about uh, access plans, like creating enrollments, purchasing money flows however you want to do it it's all possible with lifter lms and really that just allows you to sell you can package and monetize like wp 101 and create a course marketplace or keep it simple and have a single online course the other thing you can do is get leads in addition to sales and i'm going to hand it over to will here and uh you know we touched on it as one of our models using a course more for marketing, like to generate leads or more for to support your other business product or service business with training in some way for the public. But let's let's dig into a little bit about how to use uh, online courses powered by WordPress and Lifter LMS to generate leads. And I just note that um, the <clears throat> uh, Lifter LMS quick start course that Will's got here um, has had many tens of thousands of people opt into this. This is one the number one way that we actually grow our email list at Lifter LMS. But I'll, I'll hand it over to you, Will. Awesome, awesome, yeah, and thanks, Kurt, for sharing your screen. This is, we're taking a look at Kurt's screen here with the official Lifter LMS Quick Start course. Like Chris said, this is how we get people into Lifter LMS. A lot of what we're talking about where Kurt and I were doing a demo there of membership features, access plans, a lot of that's covered here. So just like we create free content to teach people about Lifter LMS, how to use the product, and kind of take this elusive idea of creating this content and course content online and turning it into a real vision that other people can see and interact with. Uh, that's kind of our business here at Lifter, but you can do the same thing and apply the same principles to your online course topic. We talked about our case studies uh, for example, KPC has a course on Active Campaign. I know she has lead magnets because she's a really smart marketer, uh, but I don't know if she has a lead magnet course. She does. She okay, she does. So she's yeah. doing a similar thing where people who want to learn Active Campaign, she has a free lead magnet course for them to kind of enter her learning system, her LMS system powered by Lifter, kind of feel it out, understand a little bit about what her uh, premium courses have to offer. And it kind of gives them a quick win. It teaches people how to use your LMS software before they commit uh, you know, money to signing up. They already intuitively know how to use this website. So they kind of feel like they know what they're signing up for. And then they also have some quick wins maybe from this content. So if you were to take the Lifter LMS Quick Start course, you'd walk away with an understanding of how Lifter LMS works inside of WordPress. And then you might be more inclined to purchase our premium add-ons to help empower that experience and power it up with advanced quizzes, payment gateways, all that kind of thing. And so you can apply those same concepts to your online course to bring people into your funnel, bring them into your community, get them engaging with your ecosystem and your community so that they're more likely to become warmer leads and ultimately end up purchasing your more premium courses or possibly private coaching, whatever your premium services are. So that's the real power of having a lead magnet. And you can see we're going through the comments right now. So many people have commented on this course with questions and feedback and all kinds of engagement on here. That also creates some social proof. If you have comments turned on on your course, it's a super simple setting in Lifter, just enable comments in your courses and it creates a ton of community engagement opportunity and social proof, which is awesome. 
That's yeah, crazy. and I like the option of using the free lessons to go uh, to, to kind of highlight, you know, free access to stuff and give them a taste. Absolutely. Yeah. Like the free lesson feature isn't just a free course. Like we made this course free with an access plan. Like Kurt just did a demo of access plans. You could just make a free access plan too. That's what we're seeing here, but there's also free lesson. So you, you could just check a box and have a lesson be free and then send a link out on Twitter and people can just click that link, view the lesson. And that's an even better way to get people into your lead magnet an even easier thing. Cause all they have to do to view your content is click a link. And then you're sort of the free lesson sells them on signing up for the free course, which then hopefully sells them on signing up for the premium course. And it's how you create this funnel that makes it super easy for people to engage with your business. Nice. That's awesome. And just to hit a few quick questions here, um, Carolyn was asking about security. Access plans do create a secure environment where a user has to actually enroll pay you money if it's a subscription their 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 um their recurring bill needs to keep being met for them to gain access you, students get their own unique learner dashboards so your content is protected behind that enrollment flow um so that's there and we actually have additional security features too where you can prevent people from copying and pasting on your website and stuff like that um and then another just quick question we had here was uh, can you have multiple video embeds? Maybe we can do a little demo at the at the end and show you how to do multiple videos. But yeah, you can absolutely put multiple videos and audios in a lesson. You might just you could have a super simple lesson with just um, you know like one video in there and that's it. Or you could have like ten videos, tabs with content, download links, and all kinds of a forum. You could put all kinds of stuff in a lesson. This is the beauty and the power of WordPress and the flexibility of, of Lifter in that way. So, um, so let me just jump back. So we talked about, uh, you know, generating leads uh, in addition to sales with our LMS. You can also, when you sell, if you wanna maximize profit, kind of like Melissa Love, who we mentioned earlier, she offers more than just courses. She also has coaching. She has community things she does on the website and also uh, in, in um, virtual meetings and things like that, co-working sessions and webinars and things like this. So uh, Lifter allows you to maximize profit by giving you more ways to support your learners in addition to courses. And we have specific features for coaching and community uh, add-on plugins that that go with Lifter LMS to provide even more functionality if you decide to add those pieces. Lifter also helps you um, sell and, and, and generate recurring revenue by adding recurring value. And a pro tip for you, one of the easiest ways uh, to add recurring value is just do an office hour, kind of like we're doing here where you take questions, you know, once a week or once a month. And now you, even if you just have a self-paced passive online course, you create recurring value by creating a time boxed, you know, 30 minutes or an hour where people can ask you questions. Just an idea for you. The other thing you can do is you can sell and get paid in advance. So you can actually launch a course and we actually recommend this before you've even created the content, you can create the structure of the course, the outline. Maybe you made content for a few lessons, but you can put a future start date on it so people can go ahead and start buying it but it doesn't actually start for a month or whatever into the future. And this allows you to validate your idea. And if you have any like fears or concerns around this, don't even, don't even worry about it. This is exactly how, for example, colleges and universities work. They get your money long before the class starts. And um, that, you know, that's an okay way just to be open and honest about what you're doing. And um, worst thing that could happen is nobody buys your course and you decide not to make it and you refund people's money. But that's a feature there to support you. Um, and then also, uh, engagement is a big factor. We talked about low engagement being a challenge in the online learning world. So we're in what, what I call the results revolution, where uh, it's not just about information. It's also about getting people results in their learning. So we have a social learning add-on, which this is a screenshot from, where you can create a community on your website. It's not exactly like Facebook, but it has some Facebook like features that allows you to uh, have students connect with each other and have a social learning experience. 
You can also understand your learners and engage with them by drilling into the reporting and analytics included with Lifter LMS. You can control progress. We've got drip content, prerequisites, um, and there's all kind of different types of drip settings, like specific dates after you know quiz pass fail, after a certain amount of time, and so on, so that you can control the flow of learners through your stuff so they don't get overwhelmed. We've also got gamification that you can use for things like pop-ups and certifications. And Lifter and WordPress, what we had some concerns on this call about protecting your content. So your content's secure. Like this is a syllabus or the lesson. We looked at the course builder. This is what it looks like on the front end uh, for this particular web design. And you know people can browse the syllabus, but they can't get into the content unless they actually enroll or purchase if you have a price on it. Uh, and you can even hide this syllabus if you don't want the public to know what the, the lessons are. And like I mentioned, we have individual user accounts. So each student has their own experience of the website. They can pick up where they left off. And then we have privacy co controls where, um, you know, there's the whole thing is GDPR compliant. If you've heard of that, we also have the ability to uh, make it so people can't copy and paste off your website. And, um, you know, users have have ownership of their data if they ever want to. And we have a system if they want to, like, um, you know, erase the, themselves, which is the modern way of handling privacy. It's all built into Lifter LMS. Um, you can also connect to the tools that you're already using. But before we go into that, I realized I got ahead of myself a little bit and I wanted to jump back to um, Kurt and, and have a little look at social learning a little bit and uh, hand it over to you. Now, thanks, Chris. And uh, looking at our one of our demo sites here, uh, Will's gonna be flying the mouse for me, which is awesome. Uh, we're gonna take a look at uh, our community features with social learning. And I just wanna give a shout out and say buongiorno to uh, Piero. Uh, he's moving over from Moodle, it looks like, in the comments section. And Piero, I'm a, a, a former Moodle user myself. So you can hit us up on um, help at lifterlms.com, ask any specific questions you want. And perhaps if there's time at the end of this presentation, we can cover a couple things about moving content from one platform to another. But back to community, uh, you can see here, uh, we've got it split up into like profile. So there's profile and newsfeed and things like that. But if you have social learning on your website, everyone gets a profile. And if you take a look at like the cover image, just for example, he can update the cover image. He can update the profile picture. Um, it gives us a lot of those social uh, options that we're used to having, you know, out in the wild. You'll also see that he's got badges on the right side of that cover. And that's part of the gamification system and engagements that comes with Lifter LMS. We can assign different badges and things like that. And then they'll show up in the social side of the social learning. Now, just like a Facebook page, you'll see that they've got an about section where they can kind of put their bio in and it gives you just kind of a social proof thing of all of their different accounts and ways to reach them or communicate with them. And people can adjust that and add to that as they see fit, which is kind of a cool feature. Um, they have the ability through their profile to add posts and to share their thoughts. And it'll basically record their, their progress and their activity within the site which is a really, really cool feature. So um, in the world of, you know, engagements and gamification, it's kind of cool to have a timeline where it's going to say, I completed this, I earned that, I got this certificate, um, I was enrolled in this course, I finished on that date. Um, there's all kinds of interactivity in here that just kind of matches up with what people are looking for with that dopamine fix. Um, the other side of the channel is to take a look at timeline. So if we take a look at timeline, that gives us more of a combined social features and it shows, you know, what courses that they're in and items like that. Uh, you'll also see the interactivity of other users within the timeline. So it kind of combines things into a space and gives people the ability to comment on each other's social activity. So that's that social part of the uh, social learning that you see there. 
All right. That's awesome. And I'm, I'm going to hand it over to Will. So Will, grab your screen when you're, when you're ready on the privacy controls feature of Lifter LMS. And while he's pulling that up, um, yeah, copy paste protection is, or, uh, it is something that, that is really important. You know, you're going to spend all this time making all this intellectual property and, you know, you're selling access to it. So people ask for an easy way to, um, you know, protect the content from a simple copy paste. Now, to be fair, there's no perfect solution on the internet where, you know, the, somebody can't like bring bring up their cell phone and take a picture of your website. But we've we've locked it down pretty good for you, and uh, it may look like a couple of check boxes. But when you're when you're ready, will um, or Kurt, who, whoever, whichever one of you guys is sharing the screen. Yeah, um, yeah, I can. Um... Actually, I could do it uh, where I have my entire screen here. Um, it's going to share StreamYard, but let me, because um, th this is a really, really awesome feature. Can you see my social learning timeline again here? Yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome. So if I head to the back end of my website and enable uh, what Chris is talking about here under Lifter LMS settings, it's a, it seems like a really simple uh, feature, but it's, it's really actually pretty cool. Just on these general settings, if I scroll down to the bottom, there's that content protection which is prevent users from copying website content and downloading images. So I have that box checked and I have my changes saved. And this is really, really interesting because if I go to the front end of my website and actually let me make sure real quick in these settings, unrestricted preview access will allow people to, um, to bypass these settings, but let me um, make sure that nobody can, because I'm a website admin, I can do whatever I want here, but let me just save my changes so now I'm going to be subject to these content restriction settings. If I view my course now and I try to copy some of this and paste it over to my text document to steal this course content, it says copying is not allowed. And that's going to happen um, across my entire website. So if I go into one of um, my lessons or on a course page or even on a home page, for example, if I copy this content, Command C, come over to my, my paste, copying is not allowed. That's just a, a super cool uh, content protection feature that Lifter has to offer there. Um, and it, I thought, I, I kind of took screen there, Kurt, sorry, I just was like, this would be a cool demo to do from Note to Lifter LMS website as a, a cool demo of that. No, that's my fault. I was kind of in a fog. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was my fault. I got ahead. I got ahead and and uh, of of passing the baton. So that was that was actually on me. But um, yeah, just to just to jump back, you know, we were looking at making your site more engaging with social learning, with the the profiles of being built in, understanding your learners through the analytics progress control through drip content gamification and we were just kind of getting into some of the protection features of keeping your content safe and secure having individual user accounts and the privacy controls the next major benefit of lifter lms and wordpress is that you can connect it to anything whether it be the tools you're already using or you want to connect in a developer to extend <laughs> the functionality to make your site do even more things than Lifter does out of the box or WordPress does out of the box, it's completely open and extendable, unlike other platforms. And you can connect to your favorite WordPress tools. Lifter LMS is an all in one solution, particularly around LMS, which is like courses and reporting and user accounts and everything. And e commerce, like you can create and sell, the selling part is built into Lifter LMS. We also integrate with WooCommerce if you're using that. And you can even use third-party tools to sell if you want to. Um, but then there's there's also the membership features are built into Lifter. And then the um, engagement features, the gamification, the community, all that. So that's what I mean by all-in-one. But you can also integrate with your other favorite WordPress tools. And if you're new to WordPress, there's, there's literally like thousands and thousands of other plugins that can add additional functionality to your site that um, you know, allows you to really innovate and customize and create whatever um, your ideal use case is. And then uh, Lifter also has a Zapier integration. So if you want it to connect with other apps, uh, other applications like a Google Sheet or, you know, there's literally thousands of apps that you can connect to on Zapier 
And basically what it allows you to do is to automate, create automation between your WordPress site and Lyft LMS components and other applications going back and forth. And then the, uh, the other thing is <clears throat> whether you're a developer or not, Lifter LMS has been built from the ground up to be completely extendable by developers. So whether you want to make a mobile app to pair with your WordPress LMS site or have a developer or, or code yourself additional features, there's um, an open AP API that you can use to extend Lifter LMS and it's designed so that you can do so quickly and economically um, because it's built from day one to be extended and customizable for developers as well. But you don't have to be a developer to use Lifter LMS. I'm going to pass it to you, Kurt, to just talk about some of the developer resources and benefits we have. Awesome. I see that you switched to me because I'm not a developer. <laughs> I'm like a, I'm just a, a kind of what they call a power user or an, or an implementer, but on the, um, idea of being involved with development. Uh, we have our very own developers page. It is developer.lifterlms.com. And uh, folks, this is really, really awesome. So the REST API, for example, is, you know, that's like the coded connection tool. That's the thing that does handshakes with, with other programs and other plugins. And I've referred a ton of people to the REST API. And in fact, my latest use case in using the API was in having the state of California connect to one of my client's websites so that the state of California would be able to verify a student's access to a course that the state has to certify and know that they can work in the state. So it was a really cool deal to see like this double handshake happen with the API tool. Uh, we also have code references for developers. We have the Lifter LMS CLI, uh, and then we have the coding standards to look at. All of those to me is like super developer talk, right? So ensure that your code meets the Lifter LMS coding standards. If you are adding to Lifter LMS or you're using Lifter LMS outside of like the way we use it out of the box, you want to make sure that you follow all of the standards. And then, of course, we're on GitHub. There is a communication uh, ability there in GitHub to take a look at different snippets or different things that people have used our core product for to make other products or have other solutions for people uh, because there's a lot of customization that's available in WordPress. You know, whenever I have a client ask me if something's possible, I don't like roadblock them and say, well, no, you know, that's a limitation or no, I can't do it. The answer is always like, well, it's in WordPress. So the answer is yes. We just have to figure out if, if you're going to pay to develop it or if someone else already did. And then we kind of do the research and figure out if it's already in there. And then contributing is the last thing I wanted to talk about. And that's, you know, if you want to get involved and you want to contribute and kind of like be part of this team in, the, in this Echosphere, that's the link that you would click on. And it would give you kind of our latest updates, uh, different versions, different bug fixes that we've got. And it just kind of helps you be keyed in on what we're all about. Uh, so folks, that's it in a nutshell. We've got a developer's portal and we welcome, you know, contributions and, and people to be involved with the product. It's, uh, Chris, you used a term about walled off, right? Or something like that earlier. Like, like we're not walled off. We're very open and we, we love to have people contribute and, and be involved in our tribe. Yeah, and that's awesome. One thing kind of on a similar topic, we had a question in chat about, is there anything built in to help people with sharing their passwords? I think this question came from like the content protection sort of features we were talking about. And it's there's not a feature in Lifter LMS directly to prevent that, but like Kurt was talking about, in the WordPress ecosystem, there's other people who've already invested in solutions to prevent concurrent logins. So you could use one of those third-party prevent concurrent login plugins alongside Lifter LMS. Since Lifter LMS is built on top of the general WordPress login, we have our own custom login page. It looks a little bit nicer, but it's still using the same functionality of having a WordPress user who's logged into the website. So you could leverage some of that other functionality uh, from third-party plugins in the ecosystem or custom development, all that kind of stuff. That's awesome. And keep the questions coming, folks. I'm seeing a lot landing in the comment. We're going to get to Q&A in just a little bit. I'll just grab one real quick here, Judy. Uh, for email marketing, Lifter actually has some email sending capabilities built in. So like, if somebody completes a course, you can have a personalized email go out and, and so on. You can even build a chain of emails that go based on behavior in the LMS. 
Um, we also have direct integration plugins for MailChimp and ConvertKit. And there's also a tool that's really popular in the ecosystem called WP Fusion, which can connect your WordPress and Lyft or LMS site and, and track all the data and send it to your email marketing platform. And, and they integrate with like 40 or 50 different CRMs. So between one of those solutions, um, that'll, that'll get you handled for your email needs. So I've got a few more things to talk through and then we're going to do a little demo and take questions. Um, so yeah, just, just load up the chat or wherever you're watching with any kind of questions and we'll, um, and we'll, we'll get to you there. We're, we're not going to leave anybody behind if you have any questions. So we were talking about the developer resources. So how you can connect to anything without limits. Lifter is open and extendable. And, uh, I just want to remind you, I will remind you one more time. We do have a coupon code. If you're going to get, if you want to get Lifter LMS and you're watching this live or the, the replay video, use webinar 15, the discount code to save 15% off. So webinar 15, go to lifterlms.com. So uh, we're going to get into a model here. I just want to kind of get with you uh, about the philosophy of Lifter LMS and how we think about building the world's best learning management system for WordPress and beyond. So I'm, we're going to do a little bit of drawing for you here and uh, and kind of talk through what I call the education entrepreneur growth engine, which is um, basically how, how there's so many things you could do with the LMS. There's so many um you know, features we could build in the product. And people often ask us like, well, how are you different from this course plugin or this hosted LMS? Um, There's so many different options there. Uh, but what makes Lifter special and unique in the space? Um, so we're gonna, uh, I, I wanna kind of go over this this uh, this model with you. Will's getting his, his iPad connected. We'll, we'll have that there in just a sec. So we can uh, <laughs> we 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 can do the uh, the model for you. If it's not uh, if it's not connecting right, will we can move on and cover that in another training? But let me um, let me know. But basically, at a high level, Lifter helps you to create, launch, and scale your online learning uh, platform for yourself for your clients and. Really at the center of all that is it helps you unlock freedom. So, and there's different types of freedom. You know, we oftentimes we think about income freedom or financial freedom, um, but it's, building an e-learning site is also about impacting people, changing the world and, and making a difference. Uh, Will's got his iPad connected. We're literally like doing all kinds of stuff with you today. We're doing live demo, we're drawing, we're, uh, you know, we're doing a, a regular presentation. We're doing talking head. So we can see your screen, Will. And <clears throat> um, so the the education entrepreneur growth engine is is really what we're going to get into here. And as as we'll, we're drawing this out, you know, this is what's so cool is you can make all kinds of interesting content to teach people. Um Right here, we're teaching through uh, an app on an iPad called Notability. But as a course creator, it's important to have a, a framework for teaching or about what makes you special in the space. And, and I want to show you, this is our secret sauce of how we make Lifter LMS, how we support our customers, how we think about the industry, where all the opportunity is. Um, so... Uh, this is what we call the education entrepreneur growth engine. So anytime we're stuck or somebody has a question or they're, we're trying to figure out how we're different, it all comes back to, to this. So, so Lifter LMS helps you to create, launch, and scale. And, uh, <clears throat> and that's, that's really the kind of the Venn diagram of the Lifter LMS secret sauce. So cr creating is, uh, you know, there's a, we're, we're going to kind of touch on that in just a little bit. But, you know, all these things come together to create freedom, uh, 
the the freedom that happens at the the intersection of these things so <laughs> um I, and also just while we're we're kind of sketching this out for you where where are you at in your journey? Are you trying to figure out how to create? Are you trying to figure out how to launch and get traffic or get sales? Are you trying to scale like you already have a learning platform and it's not, um, it, it's just not scaling for you or you don't know how to scale? Um, we all get stuck at different points and this is why it's really important to understand your learner. And for us, it's you, the education entrepreneur, uh, who's, um, at the center of our business. So it's, it's really all about freedom. When you cr create launch and scale, uh, you, you create freedom and between creating and launching when those things come together, that's where the income comes from. And lifter LMS is, uh, the tool that helps you to create and launch between launching and scaling. That's how you change the world. That's how you put a dent in the universe. So that's impact. Impact is making the difference. And when you do that at scale, um, you know, that's, that's what it's all about. And between scale, when you create at scale, it unlocks creative freedom, which is allows you to be you, to do the work you want to do, to work with the type of people you want to work with, to, you know, kind of build the life around, um, you know, how you want to work and how you want to live and how you want to like kind of step into your creative cave to make some content. And then there's just a few key ideas around each of these areas. Like there's three main ideas around creating. Um, when we think about supporting you, uh, the first one is really designing the program. So we, uh, we were looking at the course builder. So you know, you have to like structure your, uh, you know, what, you know, the expertise in your head. So that's, that's designing the program and the course builder will help you do that. A lot of our content and our podcasts, it helps you figure out how to design the program. And then once you kind of have that framework for teaching, then it's all about producing the content. This is what WordPress is really good at. This is what lifter LMS is really good at like our quiz builder as an example it helps you to actually produce the learning content and then uh lifter also helps you to create your community i call that growing your tribe so that's that's the other piece of creating that's why we have a social learning add-on that's why we you know integrate with the popular uh wordpress forum and social networking tools in addition to what we provide ourselves. So this, this is the creation engine of Lifter LMS. When it comes to launching, Lifter LMS helps you with three things. The first thing is it helps you to uh, implement technology. So how do we do that? Well, we do that with intuitive software, our setup wizard, uh, the technology helps you implement. If you get stuck, we have recommended uh, freelancers and organizations and development partners that can help you. We have all kinds of documentation, over a thousand videos on our YouTube channel. So we're going to help you launch through multiple different ways. If you have a question, you can always email us, help at lifterlms.com. Um, I saw somebody in the, in the chat earlier saying they want something that's easy to use. And, and wondering if somebody else could set it up for them. You know, we have, we have um, people that we can refer you to. A lot of people that buy our software um, have somebody else set it up. Or people that buy our software are setting it up for other people. Or you can do it yourself. There, it's all possible to implement the technology. The other thing we help you do is to fill your funnel. That's a part of marketing. That's part of the, the launch. So we talked about the free course lead magnet strategy. We have all these like little, like the free lesson feature that Kurt was demoing. Um, these are all things to help you get clients to build your email list, to generate leads. And the other thing we help you do in the launch process is to convert, which means to make sales. That's what the access plan um, uh, builder is and our e-commerce system. 
So making money and actually making the sale, it's built into the software. And we have literally hundreds of podcast episodes on our podcast to help you as a course creator or an agency owner to generate more leads and sales. So we help you convert. And then in terms of scaling, there's a lot of ways to scale. The three main ones we help you is through automation. So automation is, um, you know, like we mentioned earlier, there's a question about email. Based on behavior in the email, the LMS, you can design an email, a personalized email that goes out uh, to encourage the student or whatever. You can get notifications yourself. You can basically build, if you want to, an entirely automated online education empire, if you want to, with Lift Your LMS, where it requires the same from you, whether you have 10 students or 10,000 students. Um, and then the other thing is about scale is really delighting your learners. Lift Your LMS is built around the concept of, uh, you know, we make this software for you who's on this call, but who we really think about is your learner. So your customer or your learner is what's best for them. That's how we design the software. That's how we, you know, create our philosophy around tools and e-learning and everything like that. If the end learner wins, everybody wins. And the last thing we do to help you scale is to grow your team. So at Lifter LMS, you know, if you have a tech support question, we're on your side. Just email us help at lifterlms.com and we will help you. Um, if you want to hire somebody to, you know, set it all up for you, we have done the vetting. We have connections that we can refer high quality people that can, um, help us. So this is the, this is the education entrepreneur growth engine. This is what, how we think about the, building the software, our strategy, how this is basically our genius of what makes Lifter LMS unique in the space. Um, because we're not just a technology company, we're an education entrepreneur success company. And, you know, in order for you to be successful, you have to be able to create, launch, and scale. And we know at the end of the day, the types of freedom you're trying to achieve. So that's that's what we're all about there. Um, thanks, Will, for jumping on that and uh, getting us going with the, the Education Entrepreneur Growth Engine. We're almost to the Q&A part. So again, people load up the chat and we will uh, answer as many questions as we can get to. Um, that was our model, the education entrepreneur growth engine. And I just want to ask you, can you see yourself using a learning management system in your business? Go ahead and, and type the word yes in the chat if you can. Maybe you already are. Just go ahead and, and write, write yes in there. Can you see yourself using an LMS in your business? Um, we're going to get into a, uh, a demo. Um <laughs> Where uh, Will's gonna, we're, we're gonna, we're, Will and Kurt, we're gonna do a, a screen share and a talk through of putting it all together. Um, kind of do like a high level overview. We've kind of been jumping around for, of feature to feature and, uh, you know, kind of pulling out key parts. Um, but let's, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at kind of the finished product. Just keep in mind for those of you watching that. This is just one implementation of Lifter LMS. It could look completely different or behave completely different for how you want it to work. But this is, we're just going to kind of walk through some of the high notes on the website. Sounds good. And yeah, if anyone out there has a handwriting course or a spelling course, um, I'd definitely be interested in that for professional <laughs> development. Um, <laughs> we're definitely not a handwriting company. Um, but the iPad is a really fun tool. But what we're taking a look at here on screen is a Lifter LMS demo site. At lifterlms.com forward slash try, we have a dollar demo where we host it for you. You don't even have to have a WordPress install created. You can create a demo site that looks just like what you're seeing on Kurt's screen here, where all of the Lifter LMS Infinity bundle features are installed and you can kind of play around with it, get a feel for how Lifter LMS works in this environment that we create for you shortly after placing your order our system spins up this automatic demo site and sends you an email with some login details. But um, this might look familiar to you because me and Kurt have been demoing throughout this presentation on this same Lifter LMS environment with 
all of the, the dashboard features we're taking a look at here. This is the page that's individualized to the student. You can see on the courses, it says my courses. These are the courses that Kurt is currently enrolled in and it shows a progress bar. It shows you know how far he is in the course. It looks like the crypto apps course is 100%. The financial independence is just maybe about uh, 10%. It's about five to ten percent there, and so it's a personalized dashboard that people will use this page to log in once they purchase on your website. This will be their login page. This will be where they access their courses, and depending on what theme you use, this will look a little bit different. We're using the free Cadence theme on this website, uh, but there's a lot of themes out there in the Lifter LMS ecosystem that allow you to customize the look of your learning management website. Lifter LMS has all kinds of cool features. We talked about those community ones you see there at the top. There's groups as well. I don't think we've talked about groups yet. Uh, groups is an interesting feature. If you're selling into schools or companies or organizations, I recently worked on a site that's selling into uh, prisons for it's like required development courses. Like um, I forgot what that type of education is called, but Sort continuing of, ed or uh, yeah, mandatory yeah, continuing man ed? Mandatory yeah. like uh, continuing ed training. That was another use case for this. So what Lifter LMS Groups allows you to do is create a group and assign a group leader. Maybe the group leader of a school, for example, would be a principal or a teacher of a specific class. And then that teacher or principal could enroll their students into the group, getting access to the course or membership that's associated with that group. And then they can manage reporting and all kinds of stuff for their students. So that's a super interesting feature. You can see Kurt here is making himself, Kurt at mananomas.com, a group leader. So then that user will be able to add other users to the group and look at their reporting for how they're doing in the courses and uh, see a whole breakdown of that. So it creates this hierarchy on the front end of the website where you can have people from other organizations managing their users going through your content. That's a little bit more of a high level add on one of our more advanced add ons, but it's a really cool feature if you're doing that sort of selling into organizations. And Lifter LMS has all kinds of features here. We're taking a look at the course catalog. If you have a lot of courses, a course marketplace style website, like this website, I think has like 20 courses on it or something, and they're broken down into different categories like technology, budgeting, and you can create these categories for yourself. So they're not preset. You can create categories however you want to organize your taxonomy to make it easier for students to locate courses that are in the topics they're interested in. All kinds of uh, ways to structure your tags and course categories. And I don't know if we want to dive into some specific questions in the demo, I guess. Is yeah, that... why, don't, why don't you keep it up and then we'll, because um, we do have a lot of questions that have come in and we can, uh, we can uh, kind of roll right into questions. So uh, before I, I do the first question, I just want to remind everybody, um, webinar 15 is the coupon code. So if you want to get Lifter and save 15%, go ahead and, um, uh, Use coupon code webinar15 at checkout on lifterlms.com. Also, keep in mind that Lifter LMS values customer support more than anybody else in the entire industry. So we we do uh, live sessions like this with customers in our highest level plan, which is called the Infinity Bundle, um, and that happens weekly. Uh, we're actually doing it later tomorrow. So if you go, even if you're already a customer, if you're not an Infinity Bundle customer and you like these kind of live calls, um, go to lifterlms.com, get the Infinity Bundle, save yourself 15%. And, uh, you know, we're here to support you with strategy and questions and, and just to kind of network with you and mastermind with other people just like you who are creating um, similar types of online learning platforms. So I'm going to jump into kind of MC the questions. Here, uh, we got a bunch. Um, so if you haven't asked a question yet and you'd like to, just drop a comment below wherever you're watching this um, and then we'll we'll get started here. Um, I'm just going scrolling up to the top to the first one here. Cool, cool. Uh, I, oh, go ahead, Will. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was um, just on the starred questions there with... Um going to dive into the, the bb press forum question yeah go for it cool cool um so yeah i guess on the front end of the website i don't know if kurt you could navigate back over there to that community forum option that we had on our uh, custom website header um, 
And so this question is about BB Press as a forum. And that forum option you see that we have in our website navigation is a BB Press forum. And of course, the theme we're using, the Cadence theme, styles it in this certain way. But you can definitely use Lifter LMS alongside BB Press to create a forum uh, style setup. And the question here is, can I use WP Foro or other newer forums? Um, we're using BB Press here. And Lifter LMS has a specific integration with BB Press to restrict these forums. So only people in a specific course could access the forum for discussion. However, you could use any forum software you'd like on your WordPress website running alongside Lifter LMS. Um, since Lifter LMS uses the general WordPress login, you could use another uh, forum tool. The challenge would just be restricting that forum to only users in a specific course. Uh, you'd want to find some sort of functionality around that, maybe via a WP Fusion integration or something like that. But that was a question around forums that we had in the chat. So Lifter works with BuddyPress or BB Press uh, and BuddyPress yeah. and BuddyPress. BuddyPress is more for like social, uh, Facebook looking kind of stuff, and BB Press is more like a Reddit style forum engagement experience. And Lifter integrates out of the box with those two in the free core plugin. Uh, but then those other forum tools might work as well. Another question we have is from Piero. He's the one migrating from, or Piero, sorry, migrating from Moodle. And he is asking about how to implement competencies and uh, in, in the learning plan system inside Lifter LMS. So I'm going to give you a simple answer, and then I'm going to give you a complex answer. A simple answer for competencies is to use the built-in Lifter LMS quizzing system and manual grading to basically or automated grading to make sure that people have, are become competent in what it is they're trying to teach or whatever skill you're trying to make sure they acquire um and then in terms of a, a learning plan um that's kind of what our private if you're doing personalized learning plans that's kind of what our private areas add-on is for it helps you kind of have private content per learner um you could potentially also use our memberships feature to bundle certain courses together to create a learning plan, uh, like a collection of courses to facil facilitate a particular um, plan that's to help a certain type of person or even to help a specific user. In terms of um, something more complex, uh, we've actually we're actually working on a piece of content right now about how to use Lifter LMS with SCORM and learning record stores. And uh, there's a tool called Grassblade that can help um, with sort of like some more advanced e-learning setups, uh, potentially multiple LMSs pointing to one learning record store or LRS. Is there anything you want to say on that, Kurt, at a high level, just related to um, uh, Grassblade and just what you're learning out there? Because Kurt's, Kurt's helping with that piece of content. Yeah, so what I've learned about Grassblade, and, and ironically that you mentioned that, this is the demo site that I was experimenting with the Grassblade product. So I actually have Grassblade in this example that's on screen now. And what's cool about Grassblade is you can set it up so that you can play SCORM content and you don't have to worry about the records management. You don't have to worry about the learning record stores that go with it. And so Grassblade says, what, what are your LRS settings? But if you don't have the LRS attached, you can still display the SCORM content within your lessons and courses, but then you can revert back to the Lifter LMS quizzing to actually track grades and use the standard reporting that we have out of the box, which is kind of nice. The other thing um, that you can do is if you want to have the full SCORM experience is you can add the Grassblade LRS and then it takes the reporting from the SCORM package and then syncs it. So you're able to go both ways with the grass blade option. It just depends on your budget and the experience that you wanna have you know, internally for your organization and for your users that are using your product. And then you can customize a lot of things with grass blade, like what the player looks like, what the colors are. Um, you have different kinds of uh, notification settings that go out through that third party plugin. So you can adjust those as well. And then the upper menu at the top is where you actually add the content. And so if you were going to add a new uh, SCORM package, you would, similar to adding a course or a lesson, you would add in the title, 
you would put in any other content you want around that SCORM package, like maybe an introduction paragraph to it. And then you actually just select your uh, whatever your content is and you load it up. And this gives you a good idea of how quickly that can happen. Uh, that green bar right there is telling us that we are adding it and we see that we've got the new short code to put that anywhere within the site that we want and it'll display that content. So it's kind of a cool deal. I mean, a lot of folks in the corporate training world aren't aware that they can, I don't want to say downscale their presentation, they're downscaling their budget because these folks are paying six figures or more to have a custom site to do their SCORM packages when they can have a WordPress example with grass blade and lifter and they can still run their SCORM content. If, they're, if their management insists that they use SCORM for Articulate, Storyline, Captivate, Rise, any of those products, we can use them here. And H5P is the same way. And we did a story on H5P and how to use that within the site. Piero also said he's using Grassblade now and um, N360 and 360 and or whatever. So I think you're right on, on track with exactly what he was asking. Um, I'm just going to kind of keep rolling through the questions because we've got a bunch coming in. Um, I'll just briefly say we got a question about upsells. You know, Lifter, mm. a simple upsell you could do is just to have a course, but also just have a membership that includes a bunch of courses as an upsell. And on a course pricing table, you could have like a a la carte just this course or get it with this membership that comes with more benefits. Um, there's even like a post-purchase upsell kind of checkbox you can do and it's it's called an access plan redirect after somebody buys a certain plan you could then land them anywhere on your site where you could potentially be ser selling something else so yes you can do upsells with lifter lms um and then uh keith was asking about a feedback system kurt's going to show you the upsell thing real quick there you see the uh access plan um it has to be a, re there, yeah, there we go. The checkout redirect, it's called. So you can, uh, there's all kinds of, you can, this is the customizability of Lifter LMS. You can get people flowing however you want, either in the e-commerce or in the learning experience. And the thing that we don't want to miss out on, Chris, is the, the yeah. first part is where you can use the course page as your sales page, your you know, display default course content. Or if people aren't enrolled in the site you can or enrolled in the course, you can have them actually redirect to somewhere else, which would be your landing page or your sales page. And so I have a lot of projects where I have a sales page that's for external visitors. And then I have the actual course page that welcomes members back to the course and all that stuff. So you've got the twofold way to approach people on getting into the course in the first place and then the redirect on the access plan. So it's completely flexible. That's awesome. And Keith was asking if there is any way of facilitating a feedback system uh, where people give uh, one to five stars. So Lifter integrates with the popular form plugins um, like um, uh, Gravity Forms, WP Forms, Ninja Forms, Formidable Forms, WS Form is getting ready to roll out a Lifter integration. And a lot of those have like star um, you know, testimonial feedback collection kind of things. We've also got something in the works for the future within Lifter LMS itself. But yeah, this is the flexibility of WordPress. There's a there's a lot you can do. Um, you know, if you want to, you want people to submit feedback, you can. And uh, I mean, it could be even being in like an assignment. Um, so there's lots of ways to to make that happen. Um, just gonna find. Oh wait, oh, there we go. And then I lost my place in the stars. I'm just going to jump to the bottom. Uh, <laughs> oh, there was um all the way at the top. There's the starred. Oh, there we go. There we go. Um, Kurt, while you're there. Oh, there you go, Kurt. Uh, <laughs> awesome. So yeah, create a uh, a custom form, and uh, some of these forms even have like star fields you can add. You might be have to be on their paid plan or whatever. Um, we had a question from Jamie who wanted to see what plugins our demo site is actually running. Could you take a tour, Kurt, of the plugins admin screen? Absolutely. And, uh, um, you know, we got all the Lifter LMS tech installed. Lifter includes about 20 plugins. It's got a core plugin, but we're, we have a few little extras in here, like BB Press for the forums. Embed Any Document allows us to embed PowerPoint presentations, and, and uh, so that's why that's in there. Kurt, this is Kurt's demo site, and he was doing the grass blade 
uh, X API, the experience API SCORM thing. We've also got a H5P plugin. We've got a great piece of content on our site on how to use that to make interactive content. Um, and you can see all the Lifter stuff here. Lifter has a core plugin um, and then, and then add-ons that bring certain features or integrations. Like an integration would be like Stripe or PayPal for checkout. A, a, a feature add-on might be the uh, assignments plugin. And we are using uh, the cadence theme and cadence uh, blocks in this one to kind of create a, uh, that's the theme in this kind of starter site we used. And Kurt had Ninja Forms installed. We had Ninja Forms we were just showing you as a form plugin. User switching, I highly recommend for troubleshooting. Like if one of your users on your LMS says like, hey, I can't log in or I can't find this or that or this thing's broken, you can quickly switch to that user and experience your website like them. So that's the, uh, those are the plugins we're using. Um, yeah, then, it should be. We should be clear to say that the demo site that they get on the try link, it doesn't include the H5P and the grass blade or anything yet. Like, like, uh, cause I was developing those for blog posts and, and tech posts with us. Awesome. Just want to be clear. Cause you have the for $1, you can try this whole thing out for 30 days and it's populated just like this website. So I want to make sure you know that H5P and, and uh, grass blade are what I added. Yeah. But when it's yeah, your demo right. site, when it's your demo site, you can add this stuff as well. That's awesome. Um, we got a question from Caroline. Are there people, businesses in the arts creating courses on Lifter LMS? Absolutely. You know, I'm always careful to share like with privacy. Like I, I can think of a lot of them in my head, but if I don't have permission, I don't want to just like say the, their website and stuff like that. But, um, you know, I've seen people do like drawing, painting, uh, rug hooking, which is like a... a a type of i'm not even sure i know it's it's like making rugs or uh something uh uh i've seen like body painting tattoo artists um yeah i mean any kind of hobby or art or professional development lifters in any every niche you know health wealth um relationships hobbies traditional education it's all it's all part of the deal um so I think we got through all our questions and I know we're coming up on, on our time here. Uh, Piero is saying a thank you. Can you explain tracks if they are the correct way to build a personalized learning plan? Yes. See, uh, a track is a way to um, basically award an, uh, like what it, what it exists for, what we originally built it for is to say, okay, if somebody cr created these or completed these seven courses in no particular order, they will have completed this track or this group of courses. And because of that, they earn a certificate of completion or they achieve this competency or whatever. Like it's a, um, it's a way to group courses together that like, Hey, if you can complete this group in, in aggregate, not necessarily in a particular order, you, you get a, you get something like a, a degree program is like the classic example. Like, I, okay, you get a master's in anthropology or whatever. So that's, uh, that's that. Um, Caroline's asking if we're in music. Yeah, we're in music. We got, uh, I'm trying to think, do we have a case study um, in the music niche that's, that's up on our site? I don't, I don't know if we have a music case study. I mean, we have sites around like, uh, I mean, I won't say what the sites are, but you know, we've got like ukulele training, teaching people how to be DJs, uh, one person I was working with, uh, saxophone is another oh, one. Yeah, saxophone. yeah, yeah. We we got a ukulele theme song. <laughs> oh yeah, the the person who made a ukulele course site with Lifter made us an LMS cast intro with a ukulele. I don't know if we've used it yet, but um, that was awesome. Yeah. Um, cool. Well, we made it, folks. Uh. I want to thank you for coming to this Lifter LMS um, live stream. This is our first time kind of tag teaming and using StreamYard to like simul broadcast. I appreciate you, Will and Kurt, for uh, helping facilitate this fun. Uh, 
uh fun fun conversation we do have lifter lms merch kurt kurt's got his hat will's got his uh i thought the shirt was good <laughs> shirt i think I, i'm the one i usually have some on but i don't think i'm wearing something today actually i i am drinking a uh lifter lms uh branded coffee cup here that's that's a 20 like 2015 mug that's yeah a- it's, a, it's a collector's item at this point <laughs> so uh i want to thank everybody for coming Hey, if you're, if you're on the fence and you're getting ready to uh, purchase Lifter LMS, use save yourself some money, use Webinar 15, drop a comment about what you learned most, what you liked most about this presentation. Uh, we are going to check all that out. Um, hit us up if you want a replay or anything like that. You can always email us anytime, help at LifterLMS.com. Will, Kurt, thanks for helping me put this on. And uh, thank you everybody for coming and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care. Right on.